What's going on everybody? Thank you for watching JG Tech Blog and for today's video I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the HTC Desire 626S from Metro PCS. I actually stopped doing some reviews for Metro PCS but once I seen this phone and the features it has for the price which is $79 after rebate this is going to be one of the best phones Metro PCS has. Low budget phones of course after the Galaxy S6 that they have in stock. Anyways, without further ado, let me just go into the phone. By the way, just to see off the bat, if you look at the, the casing of the phone, very different what, from what they usually have. This is how the boxes usually are for Metro PCS. Just, you know, simple cardboard, but they stepped up their game with the HTC. And, you know, they've got a full-fledged uh, own uh, of its own full packaging. All right, let's go into the phone itself. Here's the phone. It comes in two colors for Metro PCS. It comes into uh, this marshmallow white with tan on the sides. And it comes with this grayish, more uh, towards the purple, uh, grayish purplish type of color. And the red on the sides. So these are the two colors they have currently. All right, let's go into the box. Um, they have an extra SIM card tray. The SIM card itself is actually already taken out and put in the phone once you buy it. They have some of these manuals, just quick start gu guides in different languages. And then the wall charger and the USB plug. Okay, let's go to the phone itself. The feeling of it is very smooth, it's very light. I don't really like that. It's, it, I mean, it feels very cheap. Uh, and also, I realized just from using it for a couple times, it picks up a lot of lint. And so you're probably going to need uh, a nice cover on here to protect it from picking up a lot of dust and lint from, uh, to being on the phone. Here's the place where you actually put in... I'll show you. You actually take this off. The only thing I hate about this is very delicate. I mean, it could come off very easily. And once this breaks, you have... This will stay open, you know, for any dirt, for the SD card and for the SIM card slot, which is right here. It's very delicate when I, once I tried putting in the SIM card. Just to give you guys a quick tip, if you're putting in your SIM card, make sure the SIM card is facing down. And, and that tip right there, that right there is actually facing down as well. And you insert it like that. Uh, I'm pretty sure this already looks pretty delicate. A lot of people are going to have problems with this. So this is not really that good. But, I mean, it is what it is for now. The volume button's on, on this side, on the right side. And the power button right here. Uh, the front camera is a 2 megapixel. The back camera is an 8 megapixel with a flash. They have two speakers right here, and to be honest with you, I found out that actually this is just, one of these right here is actually not working, it's just for the design, because as you know, majority of the HTC phones, these how this is how they look, so they're probably just trying to get people used to the looks of it, but yeah, uh, one of them is actually working, not both, the other one is just for design. HTC logo in the back, like very similar to the others. It's a non-removable battery, so do not remove the back cover because they actually did the same thing with the ZTE Max, the previous phone they had, and a lot of people were having problems because they were trying to take out the battery, but uh, you can't take them out. So these are in the phone, so it's not re replaceable. Let's go ahead and just take this off so you can see the screen. It's a very nice screen. This is a 5-inch HD 720 uh, screen. It, uh, you know, I mean, everything, even the images look just uh, very eye-catching. It's very smooth. The it display is very nice, as you can see right here. And it's pretty fast. It does not lag. I mean, you're talking about a uh, it has right now a eight gigabyte, eight gigabyte ROM, and it's a one point uh, one point five uh, gigabyte RAM. It's actually running a one point one. Just to verify that for you guys, this is actually running a one point one gigahertz quad core processor that's pretty fast compared to the other phones that Metro has they are usually about one gigahertz and it has internal memory of I think it was eight gigabytes 
yeah, eight gigabytes, and then it, it's expandable to 200 gigabytes with micro SD. It's a 2000 milliamps battery that's in here. So that's about 14 hours of usage and about 22 hours of standby time. So let's go at the camera. That's pretty decent actually, that's not bad. And then the front camera is right here. Selfie, it's a two megapixel camera, okay? And another thing I just wanna talk about, this is August 1st, so you can't actually see the phone. There you go, the brands, there's no HTC. So you can't see this phone on the website yet, but it's already available in the stores. And again, the price is, the original price is $169, and then you have an instant rebate of $90, which goes down to $79. Uh, it might go uh, cheaper later on, but this is the current price. But with the features that it currently has, I think this is one of the best phones they have that beat all other phones out the water. I'm also gonna do a second review, which compares the HTC Desire with the Leon and the Galaxy Core uh, together. And uh, so you guys can see which is the best one. Um, so there you guys have it. If you have any questions that I didn't uh, come across, just put it in the comment section below. And I will, I will link also uh, in the description the full review of this phone and the benchmark uh, test that I will be doing. All right, thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.